Hi and Assalamualaikum My name is Muhammad Rafiki Safwan 2200274 And today our group is going to presenting about the leadership strategies in the movie Saving Private Riot Before we get into the details, I'm going to talk about the problem in this movie The problem in this movie is that Captain Miller is tasked by the army to find and bring Private Ryan home Private Ryan just lost three of his brothers that is why the chief of staff deemed it reasonable enough to find and bring him back home. This task is very difficult even for performing officers such as Captain Miller because first of all, Private Ryan is a paratrooper that he is currently behind enemy line. Second of all, the location about him is currently unknown because the whole airborne battalion got mistrucked during the invasion because of heavy anti-air gun fire. And the solution that Captain Miller came up to help him overcome this problem is they'll first head up towards the rally point of the airborne battalion. Then they will try to find him there and find information about his location. So let's start with the leadership strategy in this movie. The first point that we saw in this movie was that Captain Miller utilized everything that he had while defending the bridge in the last scene. Captain Miller was understaffed and also unequipped to defend that bridge. Thus, he had to come up with some sort of plans and ideas to defend the bridge to the, to the end. So he came up with the idea of putting up some TNT and socks together to create what he called was a sticky bomb. The sticky bomb was used to stop the track of the German tanks as they didn't have the necessary weapons to stop the incoming tanks and wave of German attacks. The second point in the movie that we saw is that Captain Miller knows how to prioritize his objective. The main objective of him and his squad was saving and bringing back Private Ryan home. Even though clearing the machine gun nest and helping in defending the bridge was not the objective of his squad, he knew both of those tasks was equally important and critical towards the invasion. And the main objective of the whole war is to win it. That is why Captain Miller decided to help it, to help defending and clear out the machine gun nest. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Imam Husayfa Bin Hamza, 2200 Now I'll proceed to the presentation for the third point is Trust the higher ups. Trust the higher ups is one of the uh, most important leadership strategies used for succeeding this mission. When Miller Squad discover the nature of their mission, they are less than happy. Why would they waste the why would they risk the entire unit's life just for the one lost paratrooper? So confided in, in his right man, uh, Sergeant Hobart, Captain Miller reveals that he feels the same. However, he decided to not to not let it show to anyone else. Rather than join in with the complaining of his men, uh, Captain Miller refuses. In a brilliant moment of communication, he outlines the rule of the rule of gripping in the US Army. Uh, he said, I don't grip to you, Ribbon. I'm a captain, he says. There's a there's chain of command. Grab goes out, not down. Always up. You grab to me, I grab to my super officer, so on, so on, and so on. It's a rule that applies in all business. It can be easy for the middle manager to just complain to the higher ups, but it's always having a negative impact. So just trust the higher up because they know what the best for the mission to lead the mission to success. And for the next point, the fourth point is be professional on mission given. When Miller received the mission, he was a little bit stunned. However, Miller revealed his own belief about the validity of the job in hand without undermining his superior. He still aligned himself with, his, uh, with, the co with the men under his command, uh, but still maintaining a distance. And when you become a leader, your, your team will always smell alive. If you don't believe in a directive from the higher ups, don't try and convince your team that you do. Just be honest with them, let them know, just let them know uh, the reservations. But always, always remain professional. In, what, in all walks of life, there is chain of command. Sometimes, you just need to do what you are told to. And have an open heart to just accept the mission and just do your best. That's what Captain Miller do in, in Saving Private Ryan. 
Hi guys, I'm 220281 of Skerek Muhammad Azai Mewa Yusuf And now we'll be moving to the next part which is be honest So you need to admit when you've made a mistake Captain Miller desperately find Private Ryan so he can complete his mission Captain Miller fails to do his due diligence with the first Private Ryan they've met The conversation turns into a disaster as Miller tells Ryan that his school aged brother have been killed in combat It's a massive mistake but Miller doesn't shy away from it as Ryan begins to cry, Miller admits they've been a huge fallout. Sometimes, even the most experienced, experienced and tough pool leader can get things wrong. The secret is to accept it. Avoid making mistakes and you avoid doing such anything but the mediocre. You need to give yourself permission to screw up. Getting things wrong is often the first step toward getting things right. Next is lead by example. Let everyone know you lead from the front. When it comes to leading his men in battle, Captain Miller doesn't shy away from danger. He need, he not the sort of commander to take back seat while his troops are in the firing line. From the Normandy beach onwards, he asserted himself as a leader who gets stuck into the fighting. It's the combination of Miller's courage, level-headedness and his ability, ability to take control of even the most volatile situation that save countless shoulder, soldiers at Omaha. His superiors recognize it and so do his men in why he finds himself with the mission to rescue Private Ryan. But it's also why his squad are willing to risk almost certain death to fight alongside him. By making it clear that he willing to put himself at risk for the sake of his men and the sake of the mission. Captain Miller command respect as a boss, you've got to lead from the front. Prove to your team that you're willing to step into the firing line and you win their respect.